everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. The tutorial you're about to see was previously recorded on Facebook Live, so it is a replay. Um, I was showing how to build a name using like a hand lettering sheet. So if you've got all these alphabet letters, I'm showing you how to kind of blend the name together. We're doing Cindy in the video um, to create really fun personalized rocks. So the image you're seeing before, I just recreated this one for myself, Susie. So um, I hope that this helps you when you're starting out with hand lettering. I'm still consider myself to be um, an amateur at it, but I am getting better and the sheets definitely help. But this will help you decide, you know, how to kind of put a name together if you've just got like an alphabet sheet that you're working off of or even a font um, printable that you've gotten someplace else. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Um, if you have any tutorial requests, leave them in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We have been working on our hand lettering all month long. We're not too far into the month, this is only the second live. Um, last week we were sharing some kindness rock painting ideas. Ooh, almost knocked over my water. Uh, things like choose joy, be brave, things along those lines. Um, you could also use what you learn from that to create your own sayings, bless not stressed, you know, love the little things. Um, it was all about kind of working on, you know, placement and things like that. So today what we're going to do um, is we're going to take and create names. Um, so I've got a sheet that just has the actual letters on it. So we're going to pick and pull letters down to create a name. So if you wanted to do a rock that's personalized for somebody that you know, um, it can even be a surprise gift. You could just leave it on their front porch. So that's what we're going to work on. I've got some poured rocks back here. These are the ones that I did with the primary colors at the end of last month. Um, hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, so these were the red. They were red, white, and blue. Um, not red, white, and blue, red, yellow, and blue. And then I did use some white in between some of the layers as well. So I finally found them, you guys. I was moving again, so I uh, couldn't find them last week. That's why we went straight on a rock. So I am going to move these back out of the way here. I'm just going to pick a random name to work with here. And Cindy, you're the comment right there. So we're going to go with Cindy today. How about that? So... I uh, all you need to do I, I did link to um, some practice sheets it's the same site as this this is actually one that was in my fall lettering pack she has so many different pack options for you to peek through um, so you just take see we've got the dotted line here so you can kind of work with that and I always practice on paper before I go to my rocks so we're gonna take and create our letter C and you're always going to do just a single line at first. Oop, I just bumped off my paper. Make sure you're on a smooth writing surface. <laughs> Guess that's why there's erasers on pencils, right? So we got our C here and then you find your next letter. So we've got the I. Now a lot of times on these sheets they're not going to have the flow in portion so you're going to have to create that line up and then it comes down for your I. And it actually drops below that, and that C was supposed to drop below that too. So that's gonna drop below. Okay, back up, and then N, it's right here. So we're gonna go up, down to the line, and it kind of makes a space, drops below and back up. And then we'll go for our D here. And look at the D on this, Look how short that is in comparison. I guess my ends are a little too big too. All of my letters are a little bit big, so we'll have to we'll fix that when I do it second time. How about that? So we're gonna keep consistent here. So this would come up. Got our D goes up, creates kind of an X when it comes down, and then Y is here. So then we'll go. Up and then loop up and out. Okay, so once you have your basic letters and shapes together, like so, we're gonna start thickening the lines. And I'll move this up, I'm sorry. Okay, so, because the text was kind of covering me just a little bit there. Okay, so 
So we're gonna come, the downward slopes are always your thicker slopes, so you're gonna fill in that downward slope, up is thin, down would be thick, up thin, down thick, up thin, down thick, and you continue that while you're doing your letter. And you kind of get the idea of how it's going to go together before you take it to your rock. I never ever hand letter something on my rock without practicing on a piece of paper first. So now you know how your letters are going to kind of go together. Um, you'll have a better idea before you're going on to your rock to write the word. So I'm going to just go ahead here. And we're gonna do Cindy on here. Now I've got my primary colors here on the side. Um, on a darker rock, I could probably do get away with white. Let's do it on this one with white. I think that that will be a really good contrast. Okay, so you know what though? I'm gonna do just the outline of it one more time, just a little smaller. See, this is how you see that's gonna be pretty tight on that rock. It might actually fit about that size. How about that? That's the way I always test. If I can cover it completely, then I know it should fit on my rock. So we're gonna go right on in there. Make sure my pen is nice and shaken up. Okay. And we're just gonna go, so. I have a hard time reading the comments while I'm doing these. I did have those links pop up there because I wasn't able to get them on before I went live. So I am using my 1M pens. I would never be able to do any lettering without 1M pens. Just wouldn't happen. So I do try to kind of keep it a continuous line while I'm writing, if I can. Go back to your cursive days when we all wrote cursive at school, right? Oop, almost ran out of space, but got it on there. <laughs> so there we go. We got our first line through. Now I can add my extra curl here at the top. And add your details and we're gonna thicken up our lines so I sometimes will turn and maneuver my rock just so that I can um, write them better oh and I just bonked you guys with my glasses sorry but you just got to remember that whole the uh, when you're going down it's the thick line and up is the thin line you can always make your lines thicker. So I always start fairly thin when I'm thickening them up. I just kind of double the, the line first. Because also when you're making your lines thinner or thicker, you can correct your original line if you had any mistakes a little bit. So I kind of add the weight to the line a little bit at a time. So that I can fix any mistakes I might have made and then I kind of really kind of thicken it up on my next pass through. actually didn't move out of state this time. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Aline. Um, normally, my, I am a military family, so we move a lot. This time, it happened to be a local move, which is funny because it's been a little bit more hectic than I thought it would be. I thought, oh, it's just down the street. It won't be a big deal. Not crossing state lines. Didn't have to change the kids' schools this time, so that's good. But I feel like since it was so close, I set myself up that it was gonna to be too easy. But we're getting there, we're getting settled again, so. 
All right. So there we go. We have a Cindy Rock. And like I said, you can definitely go in and continue to thicken up that the downward lines and it will actually create the upward lines will be thinner um, as you thicken up those lines. But I kind of need to wait. I don't want to disturb my paint too much. So I'm going to go on the inside of this one just a smidge. Go. And the more you do these, obviously, like I've said, every hand lettering video I've done, the more you do the better you will get at them. I still find them to be intimidating, even though I, I am getting on live and doing them with you all. I have to say the sheets are my, my saving grace because I don't know the hand lettering shapes very well off the top of my head. So it takes a little bit of time for me to to even create the letters without having a reference to go by. Some people have done hand lettering in their lives for other projects and other crafts, so they kind of have the structure. But even doing it with a pen is a little bit different because when you're doing brush lettering, you just kind of press that pen down to get the thick lines. You don't have to go back over it multiple times. So just be patient. There we go. There we go. And I think we're going to call that good. All right, so that's it. Just like that. So I don't know if you're in here, Cindy, but there you go. That's what Cindy Rock could look like. You can add fun little um, designs on here too with your pens, like little accents you know just to bring it some more design if you want to my dot's not very pretty here there we go um we could do something off the the tip of this y here as well i like to add a couple little pieces of flair whenever i'm doing rocks like this as well I just can't let them be, I guess. So, <laughs> so I hope this helps some of you guys visually see how to build a name using, um, you know, some lettering like this. Um, of course, if you have, you know, access to a computer um, that you can just find a font that you like, type it up, print it out and practice. You just trace it. Just nice light color so you can trace over them really helps. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day. We'll be back next week. I'm going to try to think of something fun and different to do for hand lettering next week as well. And we will see you all soon. Bye-bye now.